Hello, this is Bern, and if somewhere along the way you've lost your sense of worth and confidence as a woman and would love to learn how you can reclaim that right now, stick around because I'll be revealing how to do just that on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love you crave and I am very blessed to be sharing with you how to reclaim your worth as a woman when you've lost it. This is such an important topic and I'm so passionate about this. The reason why being that when I've had the blessing of connecting with so many thousands of women throughout my career by now and helping them to create the kind of devotional love that they want from the inside out, I fully understand and there is no doubt in my mind that the number one most common problem or challenge that women face today that doesn't allow them to create the kind of love that they want, it's not the only challenge, but it's the most predominant one, is not understanding or owning their sense of worth as women. It's having that intellectual understanding, but when push comes to shove and you connect to a man doubting that you have what it takes to create devotion and love, and therefore playing into your smallness versus your bigness, and acting in such a way that the truth of who you are cannot be expressed and seen. So what I'm gonna be sharing with you today is the four most powerful ways that I know of to today start stepping into the most worthy sense of self so that you can create the kind of devotional relationship and love that you're looking for and that you don't have to go through the pain of playing into your smallness. The first absolute key that I'll share with you if you want to start stepping into a higher sense of worth is to allow the pain of your smallness to hit you in the chest and move you and drive you to a much more powerful future. If the fire in your heart is not lit up right now because you're not allowing yourself to experience the pain of how you being small or playing into smallness or not thinking that you're good enough or thinking that you're not smart enough or playing into you're not so beautiful and the light that comes out from you which is reduced, how that's literally fucking up your life. If you allow yourself the pain to enter your heart without subduing it, the pain alone will be a bright burning fire inside that will help you to have a deeper sense of drive to not step into your smallness next time the opportunity presents itself. The biggest challenge that I see in women not being able to get out of this sense of smallness is that they don't understand or they understand intellectually how this is messing up their lives, but they can fully see and experience the pain of how you stepping into your smallness is making men abuse um, the, the kind of confidence that they have basically with you and not be able to set strong boundaries with them. Or maybe it's not allowing them to view you as a high value woman. Or maybe it's simply not even just with men, with every human being you connect with, not allowing them to see the truth of who you are and be, being guarded around your heart. And that is creating a distance and separation that makes you feel insanely alone when you go to sleep at night. So if you take away the fluffiness and you allow yourself to experience pain for a short amount of time of how your smallness is messing up your life, then you will be much more compelled to do something about it and you stand a real chance to overcome the inevitable obstacles that will arise when you decide to step into a higher sense of being and a much more powerful woman, <laughs> okay? Number two is uh, I want you to reconnect to a higher power and you can call this God, you can call this a universe, you can call this the most powerful mathematical equation that is the mother of all equations. Whatever you decide to call this is not so important as the fact that you don't think that you have to do this shit alone. Here's the biggest challenge in, own, in wanting to do this thing alone, that you always have to outperform yourself. You always have to be different. You always have to top your top to continue being significant and relevant and therefore worthy. Whenever you have to do stuff to be worthy, it's a non-ending game that you will never win. But what if you recognize that you today, the way you are today, you're already part of something much bigger than you can even comprehend, whether it's God or a mathematical equation, but that specificity and that difference and that power that is bigger than yours and that perfection within its imperfection is so big and so vast that all you have to do is step into that flow and allow that gift to not be stopped by you. So if your worth is coming from the fact that you're connecting to something much more powerful that is entering your life and your heart 
and your only job is not to create it and generate it and be different and special enough, but open up your freaking heart to where it can be expressed, you can be a vessel of that radiance, then stepping into your worth is easier because it's something that you inherently have as a human being not something that you have to create and change and make yourself different from others to be able to generate and sustain. Step number three is step into service. Now, as much as you can be part of something divine and allow that flow of love and energy to hit and reach other people and make your worth from that, because you are in this lifetime a human and you want to play in this human world, then doing stuff that's meaningful, including stepping into service, is something that can immediately get you to remember why you're here and your sense of worth as a human being, where you can create and cause a positive and passionate effect in someone's life who may not ever be able to repay you, but that allows you to remember at a most instinctual level that your life matters. Feeling worthy at its essence is knowing that what you have to bring and offer creates an impact and, and is powerful and is magical. So if you start from the premise that you already have that within and you continue with putting it out into the world in a way that affects positively other human beings, whether it's stepping into service, whether it's breaking through fears and limitations more consistently, whether it's looking into the void and seeing how you're stopping yourself and choosing to do things that are scary but that allow you to overcome previous obstacles, any of those combination of things but specifically service will allow you to, at a very basic level, remember that your life matters and that your life has a mission and that your life has a purpose and that you will be living in hearts and minds regardless of whether you step out of this planet. <laughs> That's number three. Number four, and I don't mention this nearly as often in my videos as I probably should, but here's the absolute truth of the whole thing. If you're someone who has been watching videos, including mine and others, has been reading the books, has been going to the yoga classes, and you're still not able to get yourself to experience the level of worth that you want, I'm gonna be, say it as clearly and directly as possible, get outside help. Okay, obviously I'm someone who has helped a lot of women to create this, but I'm not saying you have to get me or hire me to get yourself to get there. I may or may not be the best fit for you. If I am, awesome. If I'm not, there's millions of human beings out there who are able to see things in you that you can't see in yourself and can dramatically shorten the time span that it will take you trying to figure the shit alone. So if you've been doing these things and you're trying as hard and you're still not getting there, get over yourself and reach out to someone who is a professional, who you trust, that you feel can can see things in you that you're not seeing yourself and get their help to shorten the time span so you don't have to spend the next three years trying uh, <laughs> this uh, many, many times and reinventing the wheel. Do something that works and get yourself sooner there. Hope this is helpful and this is insightful. If it is in some way, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or on the link right here on your screen, you'll see a way to sign up to a three-part blueprint. It's a webinar that I'm hosting that will share with you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff and it's free. Thank you so much for allowing me in your heart. Have any questions for me, send me a comment below and I promise to respond as soon as I can. <laughs> Thank you.